other things of note today I want to get to. Uh, what else is new? Another new high for NVIDIA. Can we put that up? <laughs> uh, because it's going to be $900 before you know it, and you know that's going to happen. We're going to turn way, we're going to turn back, and then NVIDIA is going to be at 900 The chips, the SMH, new a record high today. AMD, a record high. Super Micro, a record high. And that takes me to our first move of the show by one of our committee members at Supplied Materials. Uh, why do you want Applied Materials? That stock has done incredibly well, so I know why you want it. Why do you want it here? Uh, I mean, you like buying stocks at high levels, <laughs> assuming they can go higher from here. Well, no. I mean, I mean, so here's why. I mean, here's first why, A, Matt, I want to be in the semiconductor uh, mm -hmm. capital equipment space. Mm -hmm. I, I mean, I think I've spoken long enough that I believe there are plenty of semiconductor plants being built, especially here in the U.S., but not just in the U.S. Those plants need new equipment that will be supplied by A, Matt. As far as why now, you know, the multiple of 23 times might seem a little bit lofty to some uh, relative to others in the space. It's really not. And again, that fundamental picture there tells me that two things may happen. One, the uh, historical multiple may have been re-rated higher, and I think there's a chance for earnings uh, out surprises as we go forward. Lastly, AMAT is in a space with a lot of other competitors, some of which are very good, some of which my colleagues may own. Um, I like AMAT because it's involved in more steps of the semiconductor fabrication process than most of its other competitors. Let's get a Let's pull it back a little bit, too, on the chart, away from the intraday, get, yeah. a, get a broader view to get an idea of what we're talking about here as these chip stocks have done just and unbelievably could, well. See, there you go. That, that, that's yeah. what I'm looking for. If I can just, because I'm, right? aware, I'm aware you, of the chart, You feel too. comfortable buying that up, up there on the right? Yeah, because I'm just starting the position, okay? And, and I, you know, this is a small position. I know you hate it when I say that, but there's uh -huh. a reason for this. That chart is the reason for it, meaning that if it comes down, I've already laid out the fundamental case. I've already laid out that I'm comfortable with the multiple. If it comes down, having a small position right now gives me room to add to it. Weiss, this makes sense to you? Um, you bought ASML. Be politic? Uh, well, what's I, ASML done? ASML actually has a new uh, a new machine coming out. Let's so. pull. Let's pull that chart up. Let's pull that chart up too, because Weiss is buying ASML, but I want to I want to pull that up over the same time period. Okay, so here right. we go. So you can't criticize Jimmy at all. I didn't criticize him. Not yet. I saw no, it in your yeah, face, though. You're trying to get him I to saw it. I, I, <laughs> saw it. I, I, I saw the it, viewers, too. The viewers didn't have the benefit. <laughs> it was on a single shot at that moment. I had the perspective of everybody. And when he was talking, I was looking at you waiting. And then I said, well, this guy bought ASML. What's he going to say? So what, what Jimmy was saying, that I was thinking to myself, what do you know? that everybody else who's most firms, I believe, if not almost all firms, have a buy on, on AMAT. Okay. So wh what do you bring to the table? Is that, that a rhetorical question for yourself? Well, here's how I'm going to answer it. You like my setup? So ASML is underfollowed and underappreciated. They make the, uh, it, they've got a new machine. Underappreciated. It is underappreciated, believe it or not, because it's underfollowed on the street, and they don't know why they're buying it okay. right now. And here's why they are. They've got a new machine that's out. It, by the way, it's sold out for all of 24 EUV, which is extreme ultraviolet. What AMSL, ASML does, it lithography technology, allows chips, it etches on chips and allows chips to hold more circuits, so for them to be more robust. So they've just started getting out there. It's not really noticed by the street all that much, number one. And number two, that's what's going to arm the companies like Microsoft, like Apple, like all the others to make their own AI chips. So that's why I like that. That's a new sense. These machines cost over 150 million apiece, and they have a huge backlog going into 25. And by the way, there's a second generation of those coming out. So you've got to see everybody from Taiwan Semi, who's a customer, as I said, every chip manufacturer is a customer. Mm -hmm because they're the only ones that do it. So okay. that's why I bought it. Now, the other move that you had kind of surprised me. Uh, you bought Intel. Okay, and Talk here's why. Okay. Perfect why. setup, because they're right. the first customer of these EUV machines. So they bought a lot of the capacity of them going back, putting that in the order book, going back to 2020, 2021. So for their foundry service, right, that their new fab that's gone up, they're going to be able to manufacture these chips for Microsoft, who's already got orders in for it, to make you know their own AI chips, so they're not beholden to Nvidia. Now, Nvidia is not going down. Nice okay? move today, by they the way. Look at that. They, they both can 5%. exist. When you think of the ultimate demand for AI chips, right? You can't measure it. So that's why Intel. So Intel looked to overvalue today. It doesn't look. It is, but. 
earnings are going to grow into it, and nobody in the street's focused on that. Goldman's got a sell on Intel. Others have sells on it. So nobody likes it. So that's the perfect opportunity to buy Intel right now. The center of the universe is the semiconductor industry. Every name that they have mentioned, these are names that will continue to move higher. In the case of applied material, no. Analysts, not every analyst loves the stock. In fact, the 12-month price target is only $2 above where it's trading today. 26 buys, 10 holds, 2 sells. Semiconductors are the story in the market. Applied materials is the largest U.S. supplier. Very big story this week is going to be Broadcom. Hearing from Broadcom, which is now snuck into the top 10 in the S&P 500 as a market cap that's bigger than Tesla. Mm. It is quadrupled over the last year. It's seeing revenue growth of over 30%. It's at a reasonable valuation alternative to NVIDIA. Everything in 2024 begins and ends with what semiconductors hey, by the way, do. I bought ASML when it was on the decline last week. Not a big decline, but still, it's moved up over 5% since I bought it. Okay. So. All right. Good stuff.